Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime versus iPhone 6. That's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech Help You to Master Your Technology and welcome to the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime versus iPhone 6 video comparison. Now the intention to this video is to help you decide which one to buy. Both are similar price range. Actually the iPhone 6 is probably a little bit more than a J7 Prime coming in around 225 bucks. I've seen iPhone 6 is as high as 350, which I definitely recommend you don't buy at that price point. But let's begin this video by talking about the specifications. So on the Samsung Galaxy J7, you do get a Samsung Exynos processor that's a 7870 with 1.6 gigahertz clock speed. That's an octa-core CPU. You get three gigs of RAM here on the J7. You also get a 13 megapixel camera capable up to 1080p video recording and a 3,300 milliamp hour battery there on the J7. Now on the Apple iPhone 6, you do get an Apple A8 CPU, one gigabyte of RAM. It does come with an upgrade to iOS 10.3 and you also get an eight megapixel camera on the rear capable up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. All right, guys, now that we have these specifications out of the way, let's go ahead and boot both of these devices up at the same time in three, two, and one. And you should see Apple logo showing and now the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. So I think the J7 Prime should win this boot up test here, but we're going to have to see what happens throughout this little boot up. Now, first thing I noticed when picking both of these devices up is how eerily similar they are. Like the J7 is very similar feeling to an iPhone 6. It's got that same curved body, so probably closer in size to an iPhone 6 Plus, but definitely feels very similar. So that was pretty close. I mean, you guys are gonna have to let me know which one won that one. I think it was the iPhone 6, but it was very, very close right there. But one thing I did notice by using both of these devices is that the Apple iPhone 6 from the lock screen actually goes into the home screen first. So if you can see, I'm gonna hit them at the same time. You see, there's a little delay there with the J7. So you can see it's just a little bit more responsive there on the iPhone 6 here. So let me go ahead and go into both devices and confirm the version that we are running here. So on the J7 Prime, we are running Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. I'm not sure if this is going to get the update to Android 7.0, but if it does, you know we'll be covering it here on the channel. So tasty marshmallows over there for the J7 Prime. If I go over here into the iPhone 6, I still am running the beta here, I believe, on the iPhone 6. So if I go to software update, you can see 10.3 is available, but I am running the beta software of 10.3. You can see 10.3.14e with the A. That A lets you know you're on the beta version here. So generally speaking, if you decide to pick up one of these devices, in terms of fluidity, both of them feel very fluid. I think the J7 feels a little bit more fluid though than the iPhone 6 because the iPhone 6, while very buttery smooth on the home screens, it does have a little bit of glitches and hangs from time to time. Whereas that, I did not notice that on the J7. The J7 is very smooth here in pretty much all aspects. Now the iPhone 6 does have a feature that the J7 doesn't have and that's Wi-Fi AC. So the Wi-Fi speeds are a little bit faster there on the iPhone 6. But let's begin now with our boot up, our app test. So let's go ahead and close everything out. You can see everything is closed out and we're gonna run through these applications. Now these are all third party based so they're not system apps. Let's go into Appy Geek and let's see which one wins this one. So about even, pretty close there. Nice stuff on that A8 CPU for Apple still. Let's go into Instagram. And you can see the J7 well ahead of the iPhone 6 there. And let's go into the Play Store and the App Store. And you can see the Play Store does win that one. Come home here, J7 back home first. Let's go into YouTube, missed that on the 6. Let's come out of there and do that one more time. YouTube. And you can see YouTube did fire up there first on the J7. Let's come home here. Let's go into Amazon. And the J7 would have won that one, but I did not sign in yet. So you could say it's not fair, but let's go into eBay. And eBay looks to win here for the Samsung Galaxy J7. Well, I don't know. The iPhone 6 pretty much caught up there. So let's come home. Let's go into Twitter. 
And looks like the J7 is going to take that one. Let's speed through this a little bit. Let's go into Strava and let that go into Strava. The J7, now the iPhone 6. Let's go into camera. iPhone 6 wins there on the camera. Nice stuff. 6. Let's go into Best Buy here. And J7 takes that one. So a newer phone, and as expected, it's actually performing better. And you know, the iPhone 6 has been pretty much holding up pretty good, but it's getting a little bit slow there now with its 3 gigs of RAM. So you can see that the J7 won that one. Let's go into Google. And I'd say the iPhone 6 would have took that one. Let's go into Wikipedia. And you can see iPhone 6. Let's come home here. Let's go into Safari. And let's go to Samsung.com. We are talking about the Galaxy S8 today on the channel. So let's just go ahead and check out that Galaxy S8 real quick on both of these devices here and let's hit go and let's see what happens here looks like the j7 prime wins this one here and now the iphone 6 now in terms of scrolling in terms of scrolling in terms of scrolling on the apple iphone 6 it's actually a little bit smoother than samsung's internet browser with safari but it's not so much smoother internet browser for samsung is still pretty good there so let's go into speed test see which one opens that first and you can see, it looks like the iPhone 6 wins that. Let's go into Snapseed. Let's see what happens here. And I'm not gonna run the rest of these three down here. Let's just go back through these and see which holds better apps in the background. So you can see J7. J7 has a problem with multitasking. It's a little bit annoying. So let's go into App Store, Play Store, about the same there. Let's go into YouTube. And you can see, even though I missed the tap, it had to reload on the J7. So I'm giving that to the 6. Let's go to Amazon here. And that would have been the J7. Let's go to eBay iPhone 6, Twitter, and the iPhone 6, even though I missed the tap. Let's go to Strava. You can see iPhone 6 had that. Let's go to camera. iPhone 6 again, barely, barely slightly. Let's go into Best Buy, iPhone 6, play newsstand. iPhone 6, let's go into Google search, iPhone 6, let's go into Wikipedia iPhone 6, let's go into internet browser, iPhone 6, let's go into speed test, iPhone 6, about the same there, let's go into Snapseed. So you can see based on that multitasking, these devices are actually quite close in speed, honestly, to be honest with you, but that's not the only thing that matters when we're talking about picking up a device and I know some people are gonna be like you know what I want to see a Geekbench score I want to see scores but you know those don't really matter in the real world what matters is how they actually perform day to day and that's what we talk about here on this channel and these devices actually perform quite similarly like I say they feel about the same in terms of the quality the only thing I don't like about the J7 Prime is that up here with these plastic inserts it makes the body feel a little bit you can feel this little crease right here as you roll your finger over it so it feels like it's out of place. It doesn't feel like a continuous seamless design, but what can you expect? This is not a $900 smartphone. Here on the iPhone 6, it's pretty continuous. You feel the lines up here at the top a little bit, but I think the iPhone 6 does have a slightly better build quality than the J7 in terms of, you know, just not having these plastic inserts. I do think the 6 is actually a little bit less durable though. So I do think you can break a 6 easier than J7. I think I would trust the J7 to hit the surface before I would the iPhone 6. But that's just my take on it. It doesn't feel too solid right here. Both, I would say, are of average build quality. Definitely better than some cheap plastic phones, but they're not the greatest build quality. Now, I just want to talk about a couple other things before we wrap this video up. In terms of the camera department, the J7 takes some pretty solid pictures. They can look a little bit washed out from time to time, but overall they are very nice pictures and very clear. They're just not as punchy as what you're going to find on the picture quality you're going to get on the AMOLED devices of, from Samsung. But you can see it takes a very nice picture and nobody is going to be complaining about your quality if you're sharing a social media or anything like that. You can see very strong detail here on the J7 and the front facing camera on the J7 is just as good. So no complaints there, pretty solid device there in terms of the camera. Let's go over here in the camera on iPhone 6 and we all know this 8 megapixel camera has been, this eyesight has been pretty good stuff here for the iPhone 6 and it remains a pretty decent camera here even in 2017. It's not going to wow nobody but it's also not going to disappoint nobody either. I would give the camera nod to the iPhone 6 honestly it produces much more balanced colors. I think the J7 produces sharp images 
but honestly even though it's an 8 megapixel camera i think the the rear camera on the iphone 6 does produce a little bit more pleasing image from time to time even though it's a lower megapixel count now forget about it on the front side if you're a selfie maniac the j7 prime is going to destroy the iphone 6 and one last thing is battery life J7 destroys the iPhone 6 in battery life. End of discussion. 3,300 milliamp hour, less than a 2,000 milliamp hour battery. I don't know the specific number on the 6. All I know is the 6 is going to get you 9 to 5. The Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime is going to get you all day battery life. So that pretty much wraps this up of the iPhone or the Samsung Galaxy J7 versus the iPhone 6 in which you should buy. Hopefully this helped you out in making that decision. If you guys just watch this for entertainment, let me know down below. Just let me know which one is your favorite di device of these two. Let's talk about that in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this. Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.